Welcome to this Google My Business 2017 overview. This video is to show the new procedure for getting your business listed on the Google Map. Things have changed now. In the last couple of weeks, Google has updated the whole interface. So this is a simple work through showing, uh, showing the processes you need to follow. Now, as I said on the description, you do need to have a Google account. So once you have that, you just log on to this link for Google My Business and click on start now. And then what you do is you type in your business name. So I'm gonna just, so I'm gonna do an example here. So German Street Sample Limited, and we put in the street address. Well, German Street. And then we go, just enlarge that slightly so you can all see it. And then we go, and it, it picks up the map here, but we have to actually put it in the right place. And then it'll flick it, and then you put in the postcode. And that's fine. You can put in like a suburb there if there is one. You can just, then you just type in your, you just type in your email. So you type in your, um, type in your phone number, and then enter a category. We're going to call it, uh, so we're going to call it amateur theater. Uh, this is there's hundreds of thousands of categories here, so you can just you can just choose that. Now the thing is here. So if you're a fixed based thing, so if you're like a theater company or a law firm or something that's like has a fixed address and doesn't serve its client elsewhere, then you'd click no for that. But if you're something like a plumber and electrician some sort of service that goes elsewhere um you know even even stuff that provides it for virtual services then you can click yes so what i'll do is i'll click yes just to show what you can put in there um and then we'll put we'll put that now we're getting your your phone number is invalid i'll just fix that so i'm just fixing that now and we'll go into that so that should yep yeah, that's fine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type in london um, and then I'll add that, but then if you wanted to say, you could put in a postcode and you could say, um, uh, sorry, you could say, so alternatively within 20 Ks. So if you do something like some sort of delivery thing, and then you can also click that you serve your business at your address. Um, so that's fine. So push continue there. And this doesn't match so someone else has picked up that that is that but no like you'll get that often but you say no get the information i entered and then you click on yes so it's it's saying now we're going to create a, a, a site like a listing here that's going to be on the google map so you say yes to that and creates a google plus page this is very straightforward and then what it is going to do is it going to send you out a postcard. It, it used to be able to be verified by phone. That's all stopped now. So you have to actually physically be there and you can't be one of these, you know, sort of dodgy, you know, sort of rent an office space and get a, a mail thing. They're onto that as well. So you do have to be a, a, a proper business. Otherwise you get, you know, things filled up you know, a whole street filled up with all these businesses which don't exist, which kind of makes Google Maps look less credible. So you just put in your name here and you push a send postcard and that comes within uh, about seven days on average. So while they have sent that out, it's clear that I'm not going to verify it. So it's just going to, be, like it's never going to go on the map. So whilst that just did use up a postcard, it was good to show you that. Uh, what you can do here is you can click on these images. I find it, it much easier to go into info for the specifics. And when and you can see the live link here. So if I click on that, it it, it takes us to the listing. That's very that's very important. So you don't need to have like a login for that. That's what's going to show up if people look and search for you uh, on the Google map. But what we can do is you can add your hours here. Um, so you can go Monday closed and then 
you know, you can say you're open from 9 till 5. Oops. And then you can you can apply that, I think. Okay, that's fine. And I think you have to do the same. I thought you could... Uh, no, that's not the case. So you do have to go through all of them and do it one by one for one. For some reason, I thought you could do it for all, but, but, but you can do that. And then you can add special hours. You can change your phone number. Now, the most important thing here is to put in your website. So make sure that you do that. And that is, yeah, that's really, really critical because then, you know, your Google Places map or your Google map will link up with your website when people see it. And also you have to add photos so you can change the color. So I recommend getting a picture this size and putting it in. You can edit it um, to make it look really nice. And then you can put your logo and then you can just put in some photos, which are, as Google says here. Um, so that could also be, you know, pictures of your business. Um, so that's all, that's all useful. And then you can also put some interior photos, um, some exterior photos of your building and then your team. That's photos at work. Uh, sorry, and uh, sorry, photos at work and then team photos and additional photos. I think the more photos you have in here, like the much more trusted your business looks. So I'd really advocate, you know, putting in as many as possible. Um, and then if I go back to home, once you've done that, that'll fill out you know, all of these things, and then you just have to wait for it to be, so it's going to arrive in four days, you just have to wait for it. So what you do is you get a postcard in the mail, and then you just, uh, the, then you log back in using your Google account, you punch in the pin code, and then you're authorized, you're validated, sorry. So it's going, so you're verified. So that's the process there. Thanks for watching this. If you have any questions, let us know below. Uh, but that is, yeah, that's a very straightforward process to get you on the Google map with the new revision, uh, uh, with, like, with the new revision to the interface. Thanks.